Okay, this is the absolute last video for my winter concourse project series. Uh, I had a couple people ask about my catch can and uh, what I use for the plumbing. So this is going to be the last one for winter concourse. Any, anything else I do with the bike will be its own video. Uh, coyotegear.com is where I got the tank. I had it custom built. You just send them a drawing of what you want. I got an extended fill neck and I got the bung over here. Normally they're on the bottom, but I wanted it there. Um, these are hose finishers I got from Jegs. Um, they're just hose clamps with some aluminum around them to make them look nice. I actually do need one more down here because I ran out, but anyway. Uh, the brackets I custom built. Um, the plate here holds all the weight. These are just to locate it so it doesn't shift around. The, the brackets that came with the tank were okay, but I didn't like the mounting system I built the first time, so that's on the scrap pile. Uh, anyway, um, the actual plumbing. I've got a 90 degree valve from McMaster Car. They're an industrial supplier. Uh, I shortened the handle a little bit to clear the saddlebags. Then it goes to an NPT to AN adapter. Everything on here is 6AN. Uh, this is a JEGS filter. It's uh, got um, stainless steel mesh filter material so I can take this apart and clean it and then I go AN to hose 90 degree adapter a little bit of braided stainless steel 6AN fuel line that's also what's under here except this has polyglass over it uh, to protect everything under the underneath the seat and to protect the hose um, from getting rubbed through which stainless steel should do that but I just wanted this on there for an extra layer of protection more to protect the bike than the actual hose but uh, here I go straight hose to AM and I've got a quick coupler which is pull this gold piece back and then it it's a dry brake quick coupler that's very important that you get a dry brake coupler because otherwise it'll be spilling gas everywhere when you take it apart um, it's dry brake on both sides so I can store the tank full of gas and when I have this unplugged the gas from my main tank doesn't go spilling everywhere. I've got another fitting like this here and I just have it taped here to hold the polyglass on. It goes underneath the seat and then it goes to a 90 degree fitting like this one and then there's a bulkhead AN fitting that you you just drill a hole and then put the nut on the inside and then tighten it on. You can see that in the video where I take the fuel, uh, fuel pump out of the tank. Um, I don't remember what episode that is. It's one of the earlier ones in this series, but uh, you can see all that on a different video. For the overflow tank, I've got some fuel rated line here. Um, it's 730 seconds, so it fits on here really tightly, and it was almost impossible to get on that quarter inch hose barb down there, but it fits a little tighter. That's what I wanted. Um, it's a little more flexible than the regular quarter inch hose, which is, you know, that thick stuff I got hanging on the wall. But anyway, that comes over to here. I've got it zip tied. It goes down along this bracket. I've got it zip tied to one of the holes I put in here for a tie down point in case I want to go like camping or something. I can just get rid of the top case, uh, put a sleeping bag and a tent on here and have somewhere to tie to. Um, then it goes underneath the bracket and lays in here, which you can't really see. Uh, it's a little dark right now, but it lays in here right between the grab handle and the seat and then it comes down to my puke tank. Um, I'll get some light here, just a second. Okay, that's, that's pretty good, that's, that's all right. Um, handy little light. Um, the hose comes down here and it comes into this hose barb and this piece is square. This piece of square is welded to the outside of the main cavity, but it also has a hole so that these two are connected. This piece down here is not connected in any way to the main chamber. It's just welded to the outside. There's no passageway between these two. So if the gas expands and the fumes need somewhere to go, it will go in here into the main chamber through the rollover valve and then out this bronze muffler. And now the rollover valve is there so if I crash the bike and gas is streaming into here this cavity will fill up and then this valve will stop so that the gas doesn't flow out 
onto the road onto a hot engine and catch fire. Um, when I'm draining my auxiliary into my main tank, air needs to go back through here so that air can fill up the auxiliary and gas flows out. Because if this was sealed, what would happen is uh, the main tank would have to burp air into here and then a little slosh of gas would come through and then it'd have to burp some more air up into there and a slosh of gas would come through. That's inefficient and it probably won't even work. So uh, here I am introducing air through this muffler which is why it's there so bugs and dirt and other things don't get in. Air comes into here, into the hose, into the main chamber back up through the hose and into the tank. That makes it drain much faster. Um, you can get vented caps for these, but I wanted to be able to route it away um, away from the bike so that anything that vented would be out here, away from anything where, you know, gas getting on the seat might eat it up, gas getting on the paint will definitely eat it up. So I just wanted to avoid that, so I got a sealed cap and I put that had that uh, vent line put on. So that's the fuel cell plumbing in the puke tank. And uh, I suppose I could show you this real quick. That is the sealed cap. I don't know what the vented one looks like and there's a little tab here that you could put um, like a little chain on and then the T-bar so that you can just take this off and then just drop it and it'll just hang there. Uh, that's something I'm going to do eventually when I find some thinner stainless steel uh, chain. So all I have right now is that big stuff I'm using to build my metal saw horses. But there it is. There's my tank. I've got the stamp of approval on it. We're good to go. And anything else on this bike will be its own video. Uh, it is time to go rallying. And I'm getting sick of talking about working on this bike because I worked on it all winter. Now I want to ride it. So I will see you later.